Adriana Pinkeyes13 and today's video is going to be a very exciting video today because today's video would be my second ever received PR package. I wanted to say thank you to Splat Rebellious Colors for sending me in these lovely hair dyes and I can't wait to try them out so that way you guys can say how awesome these hair dyes are. But I'm saying that Splat hair dye is really, really good and you need to try it. I'm not being paid to say this. This was a PR package. It was completely free. So all the opinions are 100% mine. Thank you so, so very much once again, Splat. You guys see right here how my hair is, right? You could go back on my YouTube channel and you'll see I've had this color on now for like three months now, I believe. And look at how vibrant it still is. This is a shade Midnight Magenta. It's from their same brand, from their same Midnight line. So this is Midnight Magenta from the same line, from the same brand. It's been three months now, and look how vibrant it is. I would say that Splat is one of the best hair dyes, and they're at a reasonable price as well. I still have the same bottle. I bought this one bottle for my hair, and I was able to do three of my other cousin's hair with this one bottle the way i have it like this another cool suggestion would be like foil up your hair and do like like rainbow highlight but before proceeding on with the video i would really 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 appreciate it if you subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button and make it gray hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified every time i upload it's sort of like a little text message from youtube and it notifies you pink eyes 13 posted and that way you could be one of the first people to watch my video share this video with your friends and family so that way they could learn about how amazing that way they could see how amazing splat is also please check the description box down below because i write updates and i also have links and discount codes i also have an ebay shop so i'm gonna personally be putting on the splat rebellious color midnight jade no bleach kit long lasting hair color best for brunettes but it's not that saying that oh only if you're brunette you could put it on what it's saying is if you're brunette it'll show up but of course if you have like bleach blonde hair like mine it'll show up super vibrant but it's saying that like if you're brunette you don't have to worry about bleaching that's why it says the no bleach kit i'm gonna be applying midnight ruby on my mom so stay tuned for my next video because my next video will be me dyeing my mom's hair um this one says 30 washes for the Midnight Ruby, but for Midnight Jade, it doesn't give you an amount of washes. So I want to assume that this one lasts more, way, way more washes. And this one, since it's red, it's saying like about 30 washes. I will only be testing it out on the pre-dyed pink parts, which have blonde underneath. I don't know what they have in here that I feel like when I put it on my hair, it makes my hair super, super soft. So let's just start off with opening up the box. Okay, it says it was made in the USA. It says that it's vegan, cruelty-free, which is amazing. So it's suitable for everyone. Okay, it says one application. I don't know what that means by one application. I still have it saved like this and it hasn't gone bad. If I want, I'm still able to put it on and yeah, and I haven't reapplied it or anything. I okay, it says what's inside. One splat jade color. It says one deep reconstructor conditioner. Both the color and conditioner are... Okay, it says one pair of gloves and then it says there's an instruction sheet. How will your color look? Okay. Brunettes will result in a jewel toned look. There's honestly not much of a difference. Like always with any hair dye, the end results may vary. Okay, it says see warnings and limitations on package for optimal results. Hair should be medium blonde. So, okay, so if you want optimal results, then I would say then do like a full on bleach process. You should do foils. Okay, it says important safety warnings. All hair color contains ingredients which can cause an allergic reaction, which in rare cases can be severe. If you have a tattoo, the risk of allergic reaction may be increased. Read all labeling and instructions carefully. Do not use if you have already had a reaction to hair color or if your scalp is sensitive or damage. Read and follow directions located in the description sheet below. The possibilities are endless. Don't want to bleach? No problem! Splat Midnight Semi-Permanent Color No Bleach Kit has been specially formulated to make coloring a little easier and less messy. The unique formula conditions your hair while your color 
while you color and there's no bleach necessary which allows the final reveal to be more pure and lustrous up to four to six week or longer depending on hair type i've had mine for more way longer than four to six weeks they're being too nice here or longer depending on your hair type lighter hair shades will see more dramatic results to nourish hair improve shine and lock in color there's quinoa extracts and baobab seed oil baobab Seed oil can help nourish hair follicles and give the appearance of soft hair. Canoa extracts help give the appearance of strong, healthy hair. I like how their Logan is. The possibilities are endless, extreme, shocking, expressive. Stop, read directions inside box before use. Okay guys, so there's instructions inside the box as well there's more warning labels and all that i really recommend you guys especially to do the allergic reaction testing since i've used this before with midnight magenta i will be warning you in advance i really suggest you putting like newspapers or papers in general so that way try not to get any stains on your work area because unless you're doing it like on a bathroom sink where you could like rub uh, yeah, protect because uh, I did it on, luckily I did it on my bathroom sink, which is white. So I was able to put bleach on it. But if I would have done it like in a wooden table or something where I can't like really put bleach on the surface, that would have stayed forever. And I really suggest you guys putting on gloves because if not, you will have uh, colorful hands. <laughs> Prep before coloring. Tip. Splat color will stain color. Yep. It will stain your clothes and surfaces it comes in contact with. For best results, your hair should be clean and completely dry. Protect your clothing by wearing a cape towel or old t-shirt. I personally have an old t-shirt that's my hair dyeing t-shirt. Every single time I dye my hair, that is my hair dye t-shirt. I've had that shirt since I was like in the eighth grade and I am now a sophomore in college and it doesn't have a stain. I don't explain myself, but whenever I wear my normal clothes, they always get stained. Wear gloves to avoid staining hands. Protect your skin around your forehead, neck, and ears with petroleum jelly to prevent staining. Shade color. Do not cut the tip from the applicator bottle. Do not cut the tip from the applicator bottle. You will do that after you shake. Application plus processing time. The shorter the processing time, the lighter the color will be. Okay, so section your hair. You want to color. Yep. Only section the pieces you want to color because once you color it, girl, you're not going back. Point the bottle away from the face when cutting. Yeah, because like you don't know if like the thing is going to fly and hit your eye. Apply color formula generously onto sections of the hair and fully saturate each strand of hair for best results. Yeah, don't be shy with this. Honestly, the more color you put on your hair, the better results. Unless you want that pastel -y effect, then I would say then don't apply as much. But if you want that vibrant full effect, uh, to avoid patchiness as well then be really generous process color for 45 minutes to one hour for thicker hair yep leave formula on for an additional 15 the more thicker your hair is i would say the more time because there's something about us thick hair girls that like color doesn't catch on that fast that's why like my bleaching process was like eight hours <laughs> check a small section of hair every 10 minutes to check progress okay it says warning do not rub color into scalp if color gets on skin wipe off immediately with a damp cloth or a wet wipe because it will stain your skin rinse hair this product will stain avoid rinsing color in shower since color may transfer to body and surfaces use an older dark colored towel when drying yeah yeah i really recommend you guys doing that because you don't want to damage any of your newer or your like fancier or prettier towels use cold water to avoid staining and help lock in color it's a shampoo with a sulfate free shampoo use a deep reconstructor conditioner to penetrate deep into the inner hair fiber rebuilding hair from the inside out Final look, dry and style hair as desired. Caution, splat color will bleed if hair is not completely dry. So I think that we're able to begin the hair dyeing process. We're breaking out the arms. They should make this into like a dancing trend, the hair dye trend, the hair dye dance. So guys, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting tissues around my sink so that way it doesn't stain away looking away looking away oops so what i'm gonna be doing is guys i'm gonna be sectioning off the pieces that i want to dye so see where the blonde is i 
think I spliced and I don't want to take more like I like the amount of blonde I have and the amount of color that I have so I'm just going to be right back and I'm going to ask her to please put this pink part back here okay guys so we got all the blonde I don't know how the pink got in here the pink probably like stained a little bit when I was rinsing it out the first wash but my mom was able to get all the pink there are a little bit pieces of blonde but you know we can't do anything perfectly but yeah so this is the portion of my hair that will remain blonde and then this is the portion of my hair that will turn into that beautiful shade of green so what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush this out so we're gonna be grabbing the dark scrunchie so that way it doesn't stain we're going to be doing like a little top knot thank god my roots are black so that way I'm not worried about my roots staining or anything like that. <laughs> I haven't done this hairstyle since I was probably 14 and like Ariana Grande did it. Oh my god. I completely forgot how it looked like with a top knot. Like of course I wouldn't have worn it like literally on my forehead. Look guys, months, no reapplication and look how vibrant it is. Okay, I really recommend you guys, I'm not saying that you have to, but so that way it facilitates your life a little bit more. I really suggest you guys to pre-straighten out your hair because I have very curly hair. You guys could check out my other videos, like my hair can get like this big, but like with the product and everything, it's like more like weight down curls, but my, my hair is big. <laughs> and um, what I like to do, especially when I'm going to dye my hair, I personally love to flat iron my hair because I feel like it makes the dyeing process a bit easier it makes your hair like more softer and like you just grab like it's easier to grab the section and just be like die and die meanwhile like curls having to break up curls the the thickness the bigness i really like these gloves because they're really big and i like the material that they are we're gonna be grabbing small sections and fully saturating them because the smaller the section that is more saturated the more vibrant results you will get so don't go like oh let's just do like really big chunks all at once it smells like fruits like a specific set of fruits i'm not sure if it's too healthy to smell this hair dye but it smells like fruits so i don't think that there's anything wrong with that it's not like that icky like dye scent now putting it directly on the hair. Remember your fingers always have. I really suggest you guys looking in a mirror as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to blend these two strands of hair together to like saturate even more. I wonder how it's going to look like with the pink underneath. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, why didn't you do a, like a bleach wash? Which is, I think it's like the bleach process, but like instead of just like fully bleaching your hair, I think that you have to add like shampoo so or like conditioner so it's not like that strong of a bleach -ching process. So, but I don't know. I just want it to be adventurous. I wanted to show you guys how awesome Splat is, showing you that you don't necessarily have to bleach your hair before doing the process. And yeah. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so it is currently 9.38, so doing the math. 38, 48, 58, 10, 08, 18. At like 10, 15, 10, 20, I'm gonna be hopping in the shower and I'm gonna be washing off my hair. Well, look at my work area here. I put tissue paper. That's the only stain that I'm gonna have to rub really hard with bleach. I will be bagging my hair to avoid if I like touch any surface and then I just stain the wall or my sofas or whatever with my hair. This will do. <laughs> guys, I think I'm just gonna wrap up filming for today and I'm just gonna be showing you guys my results tomorrow with my hair dried. Since with my hair wet, you won't see like the full dry on effect since color looks different when it's wet. Look at how much product is still in here. Like you see how there's like little spots in here? I would say there's about this much hair dye still because this is when like the spots stop. And I did more than half of my hair. You guys saw how much I did on my hair. I did like a little back here. So I basically did a little more than half of, in between three fourths and a half of my hair was dyed. That's what I'm telling you guys. I have big curly hair, straighten it out before dyeing your hair and you're going to see how much money you will be saving on hair dye because if I had done this on my curly hair, I would have probably gone up with the whole bottle or maybe even two, but since I did it flat iron my hair, which makes like the amount of hair seem less with lesser product, you're able to achieve more. And yeah, you just use it straight off the bottle. There was no mixing required, which is one of my favorite parts. I don't want to mix like ammonias or anything like that. No, 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 no. You put this directly onto your hair. You just cut the bottle boop, onto your hair. And you guys saw that I was generous. I was not being stingy with it. I was not putting oh, just a little bit to save, just a little bit to save. Nope. I put on a lot. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day and I wanted you guys to look at the beautiful hair. Okay, so you guys are probably thinking, why is it blue? Remember, 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 I did not bleach the pink part out of my hair. So mixing Midnight Jade with Midnight Magenta, it gave me this beautiful, beautiful navy blue. Look at how vibrant this navy blue is, guys. When I tell you that splat hair colors, is the best hair dye out there it's the best look at how vibrant it is in the camera in some angles it even looks like a beautiful deep rich violet color and so you guys see that it does color green look at the pieces that were already blonde it's green so I don't want you guys thinking that like, oh, but it gave her a blue color. No, it only gave me a blue color because remember, I put the dye on top of the pink part. I did not do a bleach wash. I did not bleach on top of the pink. I applied the dye straight on the pink. And then look at the pieces that did not have pink parts and that it dyed. They're a green color. Look at how beautiful the green is. I love the fact that it's given my hair. This is honestly one of the most beautiful hair colors that I've ever had. Because look, first I have my natural roots right here. Then I have the bleach blonde hair. And then I have the green hair, which fades into the beautiful navy blue hair. This literally is saying that I'm a mermaid. I love my mermaid hair. And I'm so excited to know that this is not gonna wash away in a few weeks after a couple of washes. No, this is gonna be my hair for a very long time. If I hide the blue from the back, let's say I just walk around like this, it looks like I have blonde and then like green tips, you know? And then when I turn around, people are gonna see the blue. Look. There's a million ways you could style your hair. I love how I'm able to use my hair in super versatile ways now. This is so beautiful. Look. Please don't spend your money going to a salon to get fun colors like these when this is literally so, so easy to do. 
honestly and then splat also has a bleach so that way you could also do the bleach at home honestly you're not even gonna spend more than 25 dollars on both the bleach and the fun hair color meanwhile if you go to the salon for both the bleach and then the fun hair color you're gonna spend way more than 200 dollars minimum this is way more than 11 out of 10 stars i'd say like 100 out of 10 stars like this literally poosh, went out of the scale of how great this color is huge 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 virtual hug to splat rebellious colors thank you so much and look at how shiny it leaves your hair too it does not leave your hair looking dry it does not leave your hair looking icky in any way look at my hair guys Stay tuned guys because my next upload will be me applying Midnight Ruby on my mom and you're going to be seeing the whole bleach process because she has a completely black box dye colored hair right now. I really suggest you honestly getting Spot Rebellious colors because there's other brands that I noticed that like when friends or family members do these fun colors like this literally after like two or three washes the color is completely gone thank you so much god bless you I'll see you very very soon if god permits bye